Why, hello there and welcome to a top 10 video. Today I'm counting down my top 10 Christmas movies to watch this festive season. So, let's get on with it. So, now before we get started, these are all my personal opinion alone. None of you have to agree with it. If you want to, you know, tell me your top 10, then fine, drop it down in the comments. So, before I get this list underway, I just want to give out a few honourable mentions to some films that didn't quite make this top 10 but deserve to be mentioned. And they are uh, Scrooge 1951, the film with Alistair Sim, uh, Home Alone 2 Lost in New York, um, The Man Who Invented Christmas, which is a very recent one, Better Watch Out, which again, a recent one, um, It's a Wonderful Life and the Miracle on 34th Street, both the 1947 original and the 1994 remake. Okay now, so let's get on with it. Our top 10 Christmas movies. So coming in at number 10, we have The Grinch. Who stole Christmas with Jim Carrey and also the narration of Anthony Hopkins. I thought this was a fun film as a kid and um, to be honest... Um, I still watch it every year. I, I find it enjoyable and that, you know, uh, Jim Carrey as the Grinch living in the small town of Whoville. And at number nine, we got uh, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, when it's Christmas Eve and he goes out to buy his son the biggest selling toy, Turbo Man doll, and Basically, he's left it at last minute, and they're sold out everywhere. These days, it wouldn't you wouldn't do that. You'd just go on Amazon, order it, bam, done. You know, like like Screen Crawlers said, you know, in in their top ten about Jingle All the Way. You know, good point there. You know, you know, don't leave it to the last bloody minute. Uh, I don't bloody know. Uh, my girlfriend's the same at times. Um, anyway, um, number eight, we have Scrooged. Uh, Bill Murray as a greedy ass, uh, grumpy bastard uh, TV executive that um, you know is just like you know gets screwed. He gets visited by free spirits and then like screws. He has a change of heart and everything, um, and that which I think is quite a good thing to do with 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 that whole brand. You, that's what the fact that's what I call it. If you get visited by free spirits, you get screwed. Um, okay, number seven, we have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, Chevy Chase is in this, uh, as he is in all of them. Kids are different this time. They change the kids in all the films. Um, you know, this time Russ is played by John Galecki and Audrey is played by Juliet Lewis. Um, don't know why they did that in all the vacation films. But yeah, this is a, a funny, festive one for the whole family to enjoy. And when, and when I mean family, a uh, little older kids, because there are some, there are some bad words in there, including assholes and fuck. At number six, it is the Santa Claus. Uh, Tim uh, Allen as Scott Kelvin, who basically, if you want to be Santa, all you got to do is get Santa to slip you off the roof, and then you become Santa by putting on his suit and that. And that's exactly what Scott Kelvin does, and he becomes Santa. Um, you know, they did make sequels to this, but the first one is the best one for me. At number five, we have The Muppet Christmas Carol. Or is it A Muppet Christmas Carol? For me, Michael Caine is the best Ebenezer Scrooge ever, because he just does a great job as the grumpy ass bastard who is in this film, and yeah, he gets spooked and haunted by the free spirits. Plus, those two grumpy old farts are like... Jacob and Robert Marley. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what those two old farts are called now that sit in the booth. Anyway, next at number four, we have um, we have an adulty Christmassy film, Bad Santa. Billy Bob Thornton, Tony Cox. It's a funny film. It's got a fat kid in it. He's like a drunk alcoholic hiding out from the police at a kid's house. And he gets a job at Christmas at Santa's Grotto, but he's working at that mall to pull off some heist. And it's a funny film, and it took about 
um, 12 years to make a sequel. Bad Santa 2 was good, but not as good. At number 3 it is... Die Hard. Yes! Now, people argue over saying it's not a Christmas film, it's an action film. Yeah, well, it takes place at Christmas and they make some Christmassy references. And yeah, I say it's a Christmas film. You know, it's always been a Christmas film to me anyway. So yes, yippee i yay, motherfuckers. Or as they say in the Cleveland show, Scooby Dooby Doo, motherfuckers. Yes. Uh, or as I'd say, you be a game of a lickers. Okay, moving on. At number two we have... Elf. Yes, Elf. Now this is a childhood favourite of mine. I remember being 12 years old and I went to the pictures literally four times to see this film. And I can't get enough of it. I watch it every single year and it just does not lose interest at all. I think it's one of the best Christmas films in my opinion. Also, I recently discovered that it shares the same universe with A Miracle on 34th Street, the 1947 original. You know, because they do make a reference to one of the stores Chris Kringle stayed at uh, during the film. Now, before I get to my number one pick, I want to give out a few more honourable mentions to some films that didn't make it. And they are Jack Frost, the 1997 horror, then the 1998 comedy, Jack Frost. Uh, a Christmas Carol, 2009, Jim Carrey. Um, and that, uh, any more? No. Okay, now for my number one pick, and it is... Kevin, what are you doing to my room? Yes, it is Home Alone. Yes, the perfect Christmas film in my opinion. You know, it stars Macaulay Culkin as Kevin McAllister, who gets left home alone when he's fallen out with his family and he thinks he's wished them away but he hasn't they've just gone on holiday without him and then they're coming back for him and that and I love the double act between Harry and Marv the wet bandits it's just a fun witty film and I love it to death home alone and another thing with this film is the traps with the burglars Harry and Marv no matter how many times I watch that every year me and the family were still in hysterics at those scenes. Yeah, it, it, to me it's the perfect family Christmas film. So yeah, that's been my top 10 uh, Christmas movies. Uh, but, you know, um, films that I've been watching all for the past few weeks. You generally get a month to watch it all and stuff. So yeah, my top 10 Christmas movies. So yeah, let me know your top 10 down below in the comments or make your own one or whatever. Anyway... Yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, Random TV. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you can stay notified every time a new video is uploaded. All of my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, my Facebook group, Merch and Movies, all linked down below in the description. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So, until next time. I bid you all a goodbye, friends, goodbye.